What's up everybody, this is the fourth here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you and kind of explaining different techniques on how to make um, good beats for dubstep, like just how to get your drums down and all that. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is set your tempo, and dubstep is primarily around 140 beats per minute. and you don't have to stick to that. Um, some people might say it's not dubstep anymore, which is kind of true, but you know, don't worry too much about the genres. Just, you know, whatever. But for dubstep, it's 140, and then, but it's half time, the beat is. So instead of having, you know, your snares on the two and the four beats, like this. Which is how um, most other music is kind of made. You're gonna have the snare on the three beat. So something like that. And then as well as having the snare on the three beat, one technique that is used a lot in dubstep drum beats is like a syncopated rhythm with either kind of all the drum sounds or maybe just the hats or just something that comes in every once in a while, like a rim shot sound. But um, So what syncopated means is kind of offbeat, unexpected. So instead of having your kicks like this, which would be not exactly syncopated. You might have your kicks more like this. So if you think about the beat, um, like if it weren't in halftime, your, your main hits would be each of these. So to make it syncopated, you'll want to utilize the other spaces as well. So maybe like something like this instead. You can hear that that sounds a lot more um, like dubstep than just this one did. But if you, if you want to use a hat rhythm like that, that's, that's fine too. And another thing that is really common in dubstep beats is using like kind of slower sounding drum beats as opposed to faster. So maybe um, something like this. as opposed to as opposed to like this and then that way you really let the your basses drive the track and your basses have all the energy and your drum beat behind them is just really big and heavy and it's a really cool mixture of sounds. But if you do want to have the faster beat, that's fine as well. So from this point, it's pretty much up to you what you decide to do and like how many different drum sounds you'll have. But typically, for dubstep, you have a kick, a snare, a ride, and then some amount of hats. And you can have more drum sounds if you want, or less if you want. But yeah, the rest is really up to you. Okay, so now I'm gonna start off um, just making a beat for you guys so you can see what I do, or one way to make a beat. And yeah, so I'm gonna push it up to 16 beats just so that it doesn't feel as repetitive in the song. 
like this pattern doesn't have to repeat so many times. Um, it's just some nice variation, you know. And so I have my snares down on each three, and now I'm going to put in the kicks. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. And as far as the kicks goes, kicks go, um, <laughs> you can pretty much do whatever you want. Uh, I mean, you can do whatever you want with anything, but there's no really common kick pattern except for the using the syncopated rhythm. But um, for rides, there are a couple things that are pretty popular. You can either do fill each eight steps, so you have on each um, kick and snare beat, or not necessarily a kick, but each one, three, and then back to one beat, you'll have the ride. So it's like... You can also have your rides off beat, which would be more like this. And I used um, shift and then the arrow keys to move these around like that, just in case you don't know that. Uh. And then another thing is just fill all four so you have them on the beat and then on the off beat as well. And so for like your intro melody you want you might want something like this. And then when you drop it, you'll switch it up so it sounds a bit faster and has more energy. But, you know, do whatever you want. For this hypothetical beat, I'm going to have it on the off beats just because I really like that sound. Okay, and then the hats. Usually with hats, I'll do something like have one hat that goes each four or each eight. Oops. I like that, each eight. And then I'll have some extra hats that just add more energy or excitement to the beat. And usually the extra hats I'll kind of pan. I'll have a few of them and they'll all be panned to different directions and different amounts to that direction. So here I have this second hat that's a little bit extra. Then I have an open hat. Then I have um, this hat which is panned to the left and this one which is panned to the right. And then this hat as well. I think this is like a pedal for the closed hat. But uh, yeah. So, next thing I'm going to do is kind of throw this hat in, in certain spots and see what sounds good. Okay, so I like having this hat um, here and here before each snare, as it, it gives kind of a little pop before each snare, I guess. Like, I don't know if you hear that. It just makes you want to move around or something, I don't know. <laughs> so then, to really, I'm going to make use these two hats to get some nice syncopation going on in the hat rhythm. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, and one thing that I like to do is kind of alternate between panned hats. And just so that way you don't have one ear that's getting 
all these hats in the row, and then a little bit later you have the other ear getting all the other hats in a row. Just, that's what I do, you don't have to. I like that um, pattern right there, and I'm going to repeat that throughout the beat. Actually, I'm going to add a couple more sounds, though. Yeah. I'm going to throw in um, the open hat here to just finish off this part of the beat. Like that, eight um, beats. And I'll throw another one here to finish off the second eight. And then I'm just going to put these in at pretty much the same pattern. I think I'll switch it up at the end, just for that, you know, have less uh, have less repetition in the hats. Okay, so I kind of like that. And you can use different beats at different parts of the song. Like, I'll usually use one beat for the intro, that's really simple, and then I'll make another beat during the drop that kind of plays around the different sounds that I used in the drop. So, you know, just you don't have to stick to just one drum beat throughout the song. I also have this FLP with uh, five different drum beats that I made, and I'll upload that to the premium member section of the forum, so if you're a premium member you can download that. And if you're not a premium member you can maybe look into becoming one. It's I really suggest it, it's really... I'm going to be putting a lot of good stuff in the premium member section in the future. Thanks for watching guys, hopefully that was helpful to you. And if you want to see more tutorials from me, be sure to subscribe, because I have a lot more coming in the future. And peace!